Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be discussing the weirdest planets in the universe. As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. The universe is a place of infinitely vast and bewildering possibility. And that's been proved time and again just by the planets we've discovered in, or at least relatively near to, our own galactic neighbourhood. Take the catchily named TRES-4, for example. This is the largest exoplanet we've yet discovered, at almost twice the size of Jupiter, which itself is more than 11 times the diameter of Earth. Despite this, it has a density of only 0.2 grams per cubic centimetre, which is roughly the same as balsa wood. It's one of the most extreme examples yet found of something called puffy planets. And scientists are yet to find a way to explain them with our current understanding of physics. That sounds like a pleasant place for some kind of delightful space nap. Perhaps. At the other end of the scale, though, you've got CROT-XO-3b, which is roughly the same size as Jupiter, but has 20 times the mass. That means that it's about the same density as lead, and the heaviest planet ever discovered. If, in fact, it even is technically a planet, it's possible that it's what's known as a brown dwarf, an object that should have become a star, but wasn't quite heavy enough to generate the thermonuclear fusion that powers real stars. It's the size of Jupiter and has the density of lead, but it wasn't heavy enough? Space, y'all. It works on a slightly bigger scale than we do. Here's a question. Why do all these planets have such terrible names? Yeah, it's normally just a naming convention of the telescope that was used in its discovery. Now, shh, we're talking about weird stuff. Weird stuff like TRES-2b, a coal-black planet that's so dark it absorbs more than 99.9% of the sunlight that falls on it. The only light it emits, in fact, is a very faint red glow caused by the amount of sunlight it absorbs, which heats its atmosphere to around 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Even hotter is CROT-7b. It orbits its sun 23 times closer than Mercury does to ours, and since it's tidally locked, that is, the same side of the planet is always facing the sun, one side remains at nightmarish 4000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the other side drops as low as minus 350. Thought to be the core of a former gas giant, the sun side of the planet is more than likely a vast ocean of molten lava and volcanic eruptions. Worse still, due to the oddities of its atmosphere, it's possible that it actually rains rocks. Are there any, you know, nice planets out there? There are certainly some spectacular ones. J1407b has a ring system 200 times bigger than Saturn's with its 37 rings spanning 75 million miles. It can only be imagined what that looks like up close. PSR J1719-1438, meanwhile, is a planet that's believed to be the core of a former star that had all but 0.1% of its mass sucked away by a pulsar. But the really amazing thing about this Jupiter-sized astral body is that it's pretty much made of solid diamond. It's believed that the immense pressure of the planet must have caused its carbon to crystallize, making it the most staggeringly expensive planet in the galaxy. Way to make that engagement ring I bought look crappy. Thanks a bunch, universe. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.